Now I have a bit of a confession. If there's one thing that will definitely get me to go to a museum, it's massive plastic dinosaurs. So well done, Chagwag. Uh, a friend of mine posted some pictures of this place on Instagram a few weeks ago, and I couldn't wait to drive myself down here and find out what's going on. Oh, hello. Do we go in there? I guess we do. All right. And at every stage, you push the button. Do I want Anglais or Francais or maybe some German? No, Anglais. I think this museum has the rather ambitious aim of telling the entire history of time, uh, all the way from the Big Bang through to modern times. Welcome to Chakwak in Tozer. So we started in that room, talking about the Big Bang a bit, and now we're going to spiral through the beautiful grounds that they have here and find out what happened next. That's loud. Right, I think we're not supposed to come out. I think this is like a fire exit. So let's let's go back in and listen to the explanation of how dinosaurs were there at the uh, beginning of time. And there's one right there for some reason. I'd assume this is designed for children, in which case it could be quite traumatic coming down here and getting blasted with that. Anyway, strong dinosaur theme, I like it. Right, this is what we all came to see, the area of the dinosaurs. And it does not disappoint. We have big T-Rex, seems to have taken some kind of face plant. Got like a, I don't know who he is, Having a little bottle of water, good stuff. Excellent. I've lost a finger. Spinosaurus. I'm sure I saw him in one of the Jurassic Park films. There's a Stegosaurus, doesn't seem to have noticed. He's too busy in that bush. Getting crept up on by that T-Rexy thing there. Who's this guy? So I think I might just cancel the rest of my trip to Tozer because uh, there's no point mapping it out or suggesting anything else. The only thing you need to know is where this Chakwak place is. So if you're coming to Toza, you just gotta come here. It's, that, it's really that simple. Look at that. Beauty. And unfortunately for this one, the Triceratops, who's actually a Biceratops, he's getting snuck up on by whatever that is. A terrifying beast in the bushes. They really haven't skimped on the dinosaurs. They're, they're loads. Look, there's another guy. Terrifying looking. Whoa, look at this T-Rex. Sure, I've seen you before. I mean, this, this Stegosaurus looks like it's more than life-size. Look at the size of that, it's a beast. Oh, hello. What happens if I push this button? Is that even connected to anything? Don't think so. I'm gonna push it again. Should I push that or is that gonna electrocute me? I won't push that. Whoa, here's another. <laughs> That's a very big head. Right, we've uh, <clears throat> left the time of the dinosaurs and we've joined the time when Stone Age man used to get trampled to death by some kind of mastodon. No one is helping this situation at all. This guy's getting trampled. Uh, I suppose that, actually that guy's just antagonizing it, pulling its tail. This guy's trying to put his mate out of his misery, hit him on the head with a rock. 
Not sure what he's doing, but I don't want to know. Crocodiles. Yes. Primitive man. Sneaking up on some ducks. Hanging out at home. Australopithecus homo habilis. And we get to us. Say no. It's a bit freaky wandering around here all alone because I keep seeing people out of the corner of my eye and my peripheral vision. And then I realize that they're made of plastic. Oh, this guy's having a nightmare. What's happened here? Is no one gonna help these two children who are being crushed? Apparently not. Some uh, animal cruelty happening here. Seems like one of our Neanderthal men has got himself up there. Hello. Right. Oh no. It doesn't say what language is which. Let's guess. Please don't be German. Right, so having just been walked through that very extensive explanation of how evolution works and the Big Bang and the way the world was created, we are now plunged into the biblical creation story in French. And I can see over the bush there, that looks like Eve hanging out by the apple tree. There's an interesting juxtaposition. Yep, there's Eve. And there's the devil. And there's the fruit tree. Surprises around every corner of this place. Oh, yep, Noah's Ark with an assortment of real and plastic animals. Look at this. Seems like the goats and the sheep got a good deal because there's more than two of each. They're getting on. On the negative side, they are queuing behind the tigers, which in reality probably wouldn't work out very well for them. But everyone's very patiently waiting to get onto the ark. Oh, another button. Let's try this one. That. Is it just me, or does the English language lady sound a little bit like Trisha Takanawa from Family Guy? ...and answered his prayer. He ordered Noah to build the arch. This large, unprecedented... Let's go in the arch. This thing's huge. I mean, again, whoever was in charge of logistics, this just would not work. Camel. <laughs> tiger. And the tiger actually has a bird on its head. I don't know if you can see that. And he's gone. And yep. So carnivores up top. Herbivores down on the bottom there. Whoa. A crocodile. Right. Prehistoric times. Let's hang out with the Egyptians. Oh. Maybe I should just push another button. Let's try German. Oh, something's happened. I can hear. What language is it going to be? Okay, so room per religion. And we're out. Moses crossing the Red Sea. Yes. How's this going to work? Let's push this button. I'm lost. Is this a fire exit or is this where I'm supposed to go? Nope. Okay, we're gonna... I guess we... We are gonna go through the Red Sea. This is a great idea. Got some idolatry here from the Old Testament. Sacrificing to the golden calf. Carthaginians. We've got Hannibal. Hannibal and his elephants. Presumably crossing over the Alps. There he is. Right. Definitely need a picture with this guy. Hannibal with his tiny elephants. And we got his whole life story here. Yep. This is brilliant. Arabic, Spanish, French, German. What? What's going on? <laughs> German, English. And for some reason, Italian, but with the German flag. I'm sure the Italians will appreciate that. 
I think we might be coming close to Roman times now. Yes, it all looks very Roman. What's going on in here? Let's give it a go. Ha, there we go, we got something. Oh, it's not. French nativity scene there. Onwards. Now we're on to the dawn of Islam. Let's see if I can get this one to work in anglais. In the name of thy Lord, who created man from a sensitive drop of blood, who teaches man what he knows not. Read. This just seems like a forest now. What's going on here? Right, what have we got on these information panels? More information about the development of Islam, I guess. Whatever is happening here, that does not look good. It's like 11th century eye surgery. Is he having a good time? Ouch. We're now into the Treasures of Islam Hall. Like a very large but real Quran. Wow. What is this a model of? Is it Kairawan? Yes, it is Kairawan. Okay. A few final thoughts on that incredible tour. Um, yeah, I really like that place. I'm definitely going to put this in the guidebook. Um, you know, making a few jokes about the weird plastic dinosaurs, but actually, that's a really engaging way of telling the history of absolutely everything. Uh, and as a history teacher, I quite appreciate that because that basically covers your entire curriculum. Uh, you just bring the class there, walk them around, and you don't have to do anything else, which is brilliant. Yeah, definitely worth a visit. Uh, and also it's right on the edge of the Palmeri. So you've got all sorts of birds floating around here. It's a nice part of the countryside. In fact, there's a sign just down here, I'll show you in a second. It has a list of all the different bird types that you can see floating around in these trees. Uh, there's also quite a grumpy camel though, so I'm gonna see if I can avoid getting bitten or spat at by him. Uh, here we go. Here are all the different species of birds you can see at the oasis of Tozer. 